15,000 Australian women will be diagnosed with breast cancer by the end of this year, changing not only their lives but the lives of their families and friends. And now a free service in the southeast is offering survivors an opportunity to improve their health and overcome some of their darkest days. In a quiet room inside a health centre at Redlands, sinking down into the left knee, a group of women enjoy a relaxing yoga lesson. But these women aren't just mothers, wives, sisters and daughters. They're breast cancer survivors. I'd been having regular mammograms annually and um, I kind of missed a year and then it was a gut feeling more than anything. It had spread um, by that time so I, I lost a breast and then I went through chemo. Most are now cancer free and healthy but throughout their diagnosis and treatment it was a different story. My main thought was this wasn't supposed to happen to me. Leslie Cook started coming to these yoga lessons in the early stages of her recovery. They helped her cope during her darkest days. It was like the gentle after this incredible experience. A good way to meet other ladies who were going through the same experience and to learn to sort of relax because I was finding it very hard to cope with. The movements that we do help build the muscles uh, that might have been weak from surgery. The sessions are free thanks to Chicks in Pink and the Mater Hospital at Redlands. Most of the women have been coming for a couple of years. This seems to be a place of, of calm for them, so it's a, a way for them to relax and, and let go. Studies have shown patients who practice yoga have lower stress levels, improved mobility and strength and greater flexibility. And for women who've survived breast cancer, it's more about therapy than exercise. It's a relaxation for them, which helps them um, cope with all their treatments, cope with the recovery. Treatment's very much about the disease. It's very much about the medical. Yoga particularly is about coming back to me, the person beyond the disease. Kate Lyman, Nine News.